Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! <laughs> hey, guys. So I just finished the historic tour at Mammoth Cave National Park in Kentucky. Uh, it was really cool. Definitely recommend doing the historic tour. It took about two hours, a mile and a half travel time. You go through big sections of the cave and smaller uh, sections of the cave as well. And it was, uh, I recommend the historic because there's like eight or nine, even 10 different cave tours that are available. And so if it's your first time here, which it was mine, do the historic cave. It'll get you an introduction on, you know, what's been happening here, um, why this place is important, et cetera, et cetera. Why did you do it like that? So we just got out, uh, the entrance is behind me. Um, one thing that I thought was really, really cool was that it was a dry cave. So there's no creeks or rivers flowing through it, which is um, different from some of the other caves I've done, like Merrimack Caverns. There's a, a river that flows through it, the Merrimack River. Parts of the Mer Merrimack River is next to the Merrimack River. And so that would be a wet cave. This was a dry cave. And so with no water running through it, there's no stalactites or stalagmites and no, there's no formations um, until the very end there was uh, just because we were closer to the outside again but the whole time the walls are like clean shaven and um, it's just rocky and, and dry so I thought that was really cool. The other thing we had to do was uh, wash our feet going through or coming out of there because there's a bacteria called the white-nosed bacteria that affects bats, not humans. And so it's wiped out something like 90% of the bat population. And uh, so we washed our feet to make sure that the bacteria, we don't bring that white-nosed bacteria to any other caves. And I thought that was really cool too. So. Yeah, there is something like 420 miles worth of cave at this park, which is insane. It's just so much. And like I said, there's 10 different cave tours, so there, you can enter and exit so many different points of this cave. And we just barely touched, you know, the, not surface, but the underlayer um, by doing the one and a half miles. So. Yeah, it was really cool, met some cool people, and I've got the next cave I want to do written down, uh, Larrabee or Lara something, I've got it written down, Caverns in Pennsylvania. So this is my fourth cave tour, uh, knocked out, we've got Mammoth Cave National Park, and then I've done the Merrimack Caverns, I've done the Cave of the Mounds, and I've done Crystal, Crystal Lake Cave in Iowa. So it's been cool to see all the different 
all the different ca caves, formations, and reasons uh, uh, as to why they're here or why they're popular. So that's all I got for now. Uh, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.